This is a tutorial of the Amazon Sourcer, a Google Sheet that finds sources of Amazon products and helps you calculate profit on those sources. And now I have several videos as part of this tutorial. So um, you can see the playlist or see links to see what the other videos are. In this video, I'm really very much towards uh, the end of the process. And in the previous video, I started to actually navigate the Amazon products and the potential sources, which are potential matches for these products. Now, I discussed that you could put the prices in here manually. And as you do that, the profit formulas are in here that will then help you to calculate the profit accordingly. However, we know that entering these in manually is going to be a very slow process. And so another option is to use a software which in this case the software is called SkewGrid and we will use SkewGrid to actually get the product data, the price, the shipping and the stock data from these uh, suppliers and get that data in here into Google Sheets. So what I'll do is go ahead and show you what that process is. Now, um, first of all, you will use a link. I've provided a link where you will get a seven day free trial of this program skew grid so you will use that link you'll sign up and you'll create your account if you already use skew grid to actually uh sell like if you actually have it connected to your store you're going to need a separate skew grid account for this so you would want to go ahead and use my link and create a separate account now um what i will do here the first step is to actually go to the sourcing sheet i have a bit of explaining to do here not much just a little now, first of all, we have this section, and this section has to do with the SKU grid importing. Okay, it says the maximum number of sources for SKU grid. Now, first of all, let me point out this uh, formula: total number of sources on sheet. So these are your sources, and it's just letting you know you have 788 sources. What are the maximum number of sources for SKU grid? Well, that depends on your subscription, and the smallest subscription will allow you 200 sources at a time to be stored in skew grid so i will put the number 200 here assuming that you're probably going to start with a basic subscription or on the free trial right 200 sources so we can upload 200 sources at a time now the next step once you've entered this 200 is to go to the menu skew grid menu and you're going to select generate skew grid import csv Okay, what does that mean? All right, well, you click on it, and what it means is it will create a list of the sources. Okay, the first 200 on the SG import, which SG stands for SKU grid, SKU grid import CSV. So now you will see a list of 200 sources, all right, all the way down to row 201. That's 200 sources. So now the question becomes okay, well, what do I do with these sources? All right, I've got these sources. What do I actually do with them? Well, what you do is you go to file, you go to download, and you go to CSV. And you download the CSV. Okay, file, download, CSV. So that way you're downloading this to an actual CSV file on your computer. This is the CSV file, it just showed up. Now what I need to do is take that CSV that I just downloaded from here, and I need to bring it in to skew grid so I'm going to be on the my item section and I'll just go to import export and I'll go to import CSV I'll select choose CSV file and then I'll just um, click on the file and click open it's just that simple Okay, that will upload the links. Now, it does take some time to process, and the more links, of course, the more time it will take to process. And I will just click on my items and see that they're starting to be, uh, it's starting to pull the data on these items. If you see initializing, it's quite possibly not finished with that item. Okay, so I did have to wait a few minutes for this data to finish processing. And what I will do is click on page three here. 
and I see that all of this product data is in here for all these all of these links and the main thing is I don't see that word initializing anymore which means that it is actually finished so that's the last page notice that there are 117 products although I actually uploaded if you remember I have it set to uh, download 200 at a time but some of those links may not have been good um, links for SKU grid so basically I was able to get 117 products total and the data for those products there are going to be some that say vendor those are usually bad links that when you open them you will see that those are bad links all right this one is actually a link to skew grid itself and then there's another uh, some other bad links here that you can open or that I can open and you'll just see that they're um, basically links to nothing okay now what I need to do is to get all this product data from here into the sourcer so make sure you follow my steps carefully you will click on import export on skew grid you click on that box then you see all these other boxes show up click on export CSV and you just wait for a message and the message is click here to download click here to download CSV and you just click on that link and that will download the CSV you see the name of that CSV shows up here the name of the CSV is named after your username on the SKU grid account and this is my username for this account this particular account and um, that's about it for the SKU grid part I will go back over to the Amazon sourcer and I need to bring that data I just downloaded in here and put it on SKU grid export CSV SG export CSV okay don't mind this message over here that's just something that is here for some reason um, go to file import file import and upload browse and you will find right here the teach Amazon well in my case this is my username okay teach Amazon dropship and you might have a different one and I'm going to open that file since this is the first export from skewgrid I'm going to use replace current sheet I say that because when you do the next 200 products you should use append which means add right right now I'm using replace because it's blank so I'll just replace the blank sheet with the data but the next time I take products and I import them because you're gonna have to do this process again for the next 200 and you download them the next time you're gonna go to file import it's very important you understand this you're gonna go to upload browse again select the file don't actually do it I'm just showing you what you're going to do right now and then you will use append okay you will add onto the sheet just so you know okay I'm gonna cancel that because I'm not doing that right now okay now anyway you see all this product data in here and now the thing is we need to get this data the shipping stock um, the price the shipping stock data for each of these uh, sources into the products list over here okay they need to line they need to be corresponding right luckily you don't have to really know how to do that I took care of that part already you just go to skew grid back to the skew grid menu import menu and use get skew grid data from export CSV when you select that option get skew grid data from export CSV it's going to put in what's called a VLOOKUP VLOOKUP formula some of you might be familiar with that if you're more advanced with your Excel um, the VLOOKUP formula pulls the corresponding data for these into here from another sheet okay so now you see right away you get all of these prices you get shipping and you get stock now some of these that are coming out uh, blank I think it's because they don't have the HTTPS uh, and perhaps skew grid if I look at the export CSV you see that all of the skew grid links have the HTTPS so that is something like uh, I might have mentioned uh, before that I'm going to have that fixed for you when you download this you'll see it um, you'll see that when it prints the sources it's gonna make sure that the HTTPS is in here all right um, I mean I know how to fix it right here in bulk using Excel formulas but I won't do that right now 
Uh, I'll just do that. Whoops, I forgot the S. And I'll put that S in there. Okay, and you see how that now it comes through because of the HTTPS. So we are missing some uh, some data here because of that. All right, but you don't have to worry about that again. I'm going to take care of that. Um, I, I have, you know, I've already taken care of it on my copy. I'm going to go back and update it on the original. But what I want you to see is that where the product prices do come out, you do get profit calculations. And so what you're going to basically be doing is looking for the ROIs because the thing about the profits, they can calculate even when the price is zero, right? So that's, you know, we don't want a, a price of zero doesn't make sense for the source, right? So what we want to see is that the ROI is green, like on this row where the ROI is green as well. That means that you actually have a price, all right? So it's actually calculating profit and it's actually, um, coming up with an ROI so when the ROI is green we know that we're dealing with um, you know a complete row of data we have the source price we have the price on Amazon back here $24.99 then we have the source price $10.69 uh, I created two types of profits FBA and FBM FBA subtracts the FBA fee FBM does not so if you're shipping it to the customer or whatever you're doing, you have to subtract that number from the profit for FBM. If you're doing drop shipping, you're just, I guess you don't have to subtract this, uh, anything because you're, you, you don't have any shipping expenses, right? Um, but one thing you do have to do is you always have to compare these products and make sure that they match and it's not going to be perfect. They're not always going to match. So keep that in mind. But um, so I don't know if these are going to match right now. This is really random. Uh, so I don't know if these are an exact match. They might not be. All right. So they could be similar, but not exactly uh, the same thing. All right. So that is something that can happen. It's not going to be perfect. Right. Um, each time. So you're going to basically, I mean, have to go through and then check them. Uh, and then you have the custom columns where you can, uh, you know, make your own columns here like what i do is i make a rec like i'll put uh whether or not they match or whether or not i already checked the product you know like checked or notes or you can put whatever you want here you can put yes no yes good bad uh you know what i mean however you want so like with this one that we just did it wasn't really a match so i might say like bad match or something like that All right so i know to ignore that uh next time around you know if, if i stop and i come back to the sheet Okay, so you can make little notes here, uh, and then you keep going, and then you might find a good match uh, somewhere else, okay? And another product, you do the comparison, and you know if it's a profit, you do that. So I'm not going to do that process in this video. This video was just for, you just for you to see how to get the prices in here using SKU Grid. That was really the only purpose of this video. And so um, if anything, in other videos, though, you will see me uh, quite possibly using the system, uh, just to try to do some research and see what results I can get. Also, uh, I'll be showing you like, you know, different ways to try to get results from certain suppliers, brands and things like that. Um, you know, more details because, um, how you go about doing it is what really makes the difference. This is not sourcing software. It does not go find products for you. You have to bring the right products to it and still have some kind of method of how you decide what products to bring and what suppliers you're looking for and the brands and all of that. So those are things that I explain in more detail in other videos. Um, so if you want, go ahead, check the description of this video to find a link to go ahead and get this Google Sheet and then use the Google Sheet, go back through the tutorial. I have other videos. Remember, this is a whole playlist. Uh, go back through it to see how I got to this point because you need to know all the steps. And um, also, use a link um when you're ready when you get up to it for the free trial for skew grid so you can try and see what this process is like uploading the links into skew grid all right and then pull in the prices that way and that is something that i want you to learn uh as well and so and you need to do that um in order to get the prices in bulk otherwise you can do it manually and that's about it if you have comments questions or suggestions um do leave them below 
uh, and I might have another follow up video actually to this because I need to show you how to continue although it's really just the same thing but I need to show you how to continue the process as well so I might have a video on that so anyway um, again links 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 in the description that is the main thing you need to check check the links check the links to Mr. Mark look forward to uh, hearing from you or seeing you around in another video on my channel